go guys. Load up Andy. Okay, yeah. Still the same. Dime cómo me escucha usted. Sí, se escucha como un golpeteo de fondo, creo que es por los controladores o por la configuración de, del audio. ¿Y ahora? Eh, si tiene los otros audífonos podría probar si es cuestión de siendo siendo honesto a ver si se ve de ellos el día de ayer Probably is the internet connection, no, the, the, no, your are out, your air force. I said something that the internet you Could you try switch off and switch on again your connection, internet connection? No, ahora chicos, ¿cómo me escuchan? Igual. Continuous. Ah, ok, guys. En este caso es la única forma. Ya llevamos seis minutos de la clase y creo que no vamos a poder estar más tiempo con eh, esto. Así es que vamos a continuar con la clase. Sí, así es que por favor, guys, eh, procure poner un poquito más de la debida atención. Ok. Maybe. Maybe. O algo. Okay, guys. Uh, it's time to start. The beginning. Si se recuerdan el día de ayer, guys. Uh, bueno, comenzamos haciendo el knowledge check. sobre el B plus eh, infinity el also lo siento eh, comenzamos haciendo uno con el would el would rather el would prefer y aprendimos cuando vamos a ocupar el base form y el infinity plus ver en este caso The infinity uh, uh, in base form uh, with the verb. Después de eso, guys, nosotros hicimos un pequeño exercise. Then we learn a little bit by plus journal how to use it. How to provide advice and how to answer a using Bible theorem. And today we will start with this knowledge check. I did a volunteer. Uh, I would like to be the volunteer. Okay, Jamie, can It's, you read the okay. instructions, please? Come cool. 
complete the phrases with the information given. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Number one, you can improve your accent which of those options is the, is the right? I'm watching American movies. Thank you. A good way to learn item is? The talking to native English speakers. The last one. The students can become better writers. By writing to English speaking pen pals. Good way to learn new vocabulary is by studying a learner's dictionary. Number five, people can become faster readers. People can become faster readers by reading magazine in English. Thank you. One way of practicing conversation is by role playing with a partner. Yeah. Uh, the number four. Uh, ah, by role playing with partner, with a partner. Okay, you can learn to use grammar correctly. You can learn to use grammar correctly by doing translation exercise. The best way to develop self confidence in speaking English is. By practicing in your English class. Thank you. And congratulations, girls. You did a great job. What about the rest? What about you, Marina, and Vanessa, and Maximo? Did you finalize the, the knowledge check? Yes, teacher. Pregunta, Marina. ¿Cómo me escucha usted? Uh, I had a little problem with you speak. Pónganse en mute. Thank you. Y ahora, guys. Nice. Yeah, it's better. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you so much, girl, for answering that knowledge. It's time to continue. If you remember, guys, yesterday we watched this video. And after that, we said that we will practice our reading skills. Right. Se recuerdan, chicos, que el día de ayer, pues, hicimos eh, un pequeño practice de reading skill y dijimos que el día de ahora íbamos a tener a tres participantes, participantes que iban a ser los primeros, correcto? Muy bien, yo sé yeah. que Vanessa no estuvo el día de ayer, Vanessa, pero usted va a ser la cuarta participante. El orden de los participantes faltantes será Marina, Máximo, Yancy y Vanessa. Muy bien. ¿Cómo se van a hacer a dividir esta lectura? Será de la siguiente forma. 
¿Pueden ver así? Muy bien, para comenzar haremos párrafo por párrafo. Primero Marina, luego Máximo, después Yancy y por último Vanessa. Puede comenzar Marina. Have you ever sat in class wondering if you will ever grasp the information that was being taught? Maybe the presentation didn't fit your learning style. Thank you. Maximo, can you help us? Our minds and body, body gather information in different ways and from all around us, seeing, hearing, and doing. Then our brains process the information, organizing it and making connection to things we already know. This process can also work in different ways. Do we think in picture or words? Do, do we remember details or the big picture? Thank you, Jancy. Can you help us? Okay. When we're trying to learn, it helps to know how our brain works. How do we best gather and organize information? No. How do we best gather and organize information? Different people have different learning styles. For example, one person might struggle with reading, writing information, but understand it immediately in a illustration. Another person might have problems with the picture, but no the writing text. Thank you so much. Uh, Vanessa, can you read? You? Uh, okay. No, Vanessa. Physicologists have identified seven basic learning styles. Identified. Thank you, Jancy. I appreciate so much, Jancy. Right now, Vanessa, it's your turn. Can you read linguistic and logical? Uh, linguistic. These people learn by using language. Listen, listen, uh, reading, speaking, and right, right, reading. Mm -hmm. Logical, these people learn by applying for formulas and science, scientific principles. Thank you. Visual people. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, visual visual let me see visual these people led by sign what they they are learning ah. musical mm -hmm. musical in, in, in test of finding music and destruction These people learn well when information is present, pres dog, music. Hasta ahí. Bueno, quedémonos hasta ahí. Ahora bien, eh, vamos a ver quién más. Señorita López, ¿nos puede ayudar con kinesthetic and interpersonal? Señorita Jamie López, can you help us, please? Okay, Raúl, can you help us? Sure, teacher, tell me. Okay, can you help me reading kinesthetic and intrapersonal? Kinesthetic movement and physical activities help these people learn. Intrapersonal. This these people learn best if they associate new information directly with their. Uh -huh. 
in all experiences. Okay, thank you. And right now, Brandy, can you help me read in the last part, please? Interpersonal, these people learn well by working with others. You will often encounter situations that do not match your strongest learning style. If you know what your strengths are, you can develop strategies, strategies to balance your weaknesses for a more successful learning experience. Thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, guys, first of all, glad for you. Glad for all of you, you did a great job. I like, in especial how Maximo read uh, that program, prep. it was amazing. Also, I like the way uh, Marina and Vanessa did you did a great job, in special Vanessa. Vanessa, you were so brave in that moment that you start uh, to learn it and stay learning for a long time. But we have to learn. In this kind of cases, I would like to show you some words. Scientific principles. That's what one of those. <clears throat> Another one is writing. This part I love the way Vanessa learned. This part to be specific because she made many posts but in the right place. Lo voy a decir en español. Me encantó la forma en que Vanessa leyó esta parte porque pudo usar las pausas según las comas. Todos ustedes lo han hecho muy bien. Ahora que ya leímos esto, vámonos aquí. Y digamos, number one. But principal instruction, read the article, match its word with its meaning. Grabs. What's the meaning of grabs? Understand. Uh -huh. The big pictures. A general view of, of, of a situation. Gather. Pick up or collect. A struggle. Do I have to do something? Distractions. Something that takes attention away. Associate. Show one thing. <laughs> is connect to another. The so one thing is connected Teacher, to another. Sorry, what sanction is it? you you are uh, working? Uh, in right the now, in the last part... The last part of the section three. Aquí. Okay. Are you there, Jesus? Yeah, teacher. Cool. Okay, guys, it's time to verify the answers and you did a great job. Okay, right now we are teacher, ready. Can I see the number one, teacher? Of course. Understand. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Okay, guys, right now we are ready to finalize the section three. We are in the middle of the course. It's time to make a little review. Today, guys, we want... Okay, guys. Este día no vamos a tener una práctica de principito como lectura. ¿Por qué? Porque lo que vamos a hacer será lo siguiente. Haremos un pequeño repaso en los próximos 15 minutos de lo que hemos visto en la sección 1, 2 y 3. Dudas o preguntas, háganla, porque ahorita es el momento. ¿Qué sucederá después de este pequeño review que vamos a ver? Muy bien, haremos el midterm exam. Y antes de comenzarlo, me gustaría preguntar ¿Quién de ustedes ya finalizó el midterm exam o ya lo hizo? I'm in the middle of the midterm, teacher. Perfect. What about the rest? Me too. Yeah, I'm finished. What about you, Maximo? I, I did the, the part one and three. Cool. Jancy and Raul. I'm in the section three yet, teacher. Um, okay, it's okay. Jamie and... I didn't, teacher. Perfect. It'd be, uh, what about you, Jamie and Miss Lopez? Jaime, did you finalize the midterm exam? I haven't, teacher. Don't worry, it's okay. It's the end of the way. <laughs> and what about you, Vanessa? Did you finalize? Only one exercise. I have, I have, I have. Okay, it's okay. In this kind of cases, I made the review as soon as possible. Whatever doubt or question, you can make the, that. But to be specific, at 8 and 35 minutes, I will give into you 10 minutes to finalize the midterm exam. And after that, we will resolve together that exam. Okay? Cool. Okay, guys. In the first section, we learn many things. For example, we learn about past principal adjectives and also with nouns in order to do the what? To describe problem. That was the main the main idea, how to describe problem using participle, past participle as adjectives and with nouns. Alguien se recuerda cuál era la estructura que ocupábamos en past participle as adjective and with nouns? Mm -hmm, chicos. Subject plus verb to be plus past participle. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you so much, maybe. And let me verify something. Yes. We are here some past participle as an adjective. The first one is a subject. The past participle. Oh, sorry. The the adjective. The what is it? The ing. The verb with ing. Plus verb to be. And the past participle at the end. Subject. The verb with ing. Plus. Verb be. And at the end, past participle. After that, we learn about the passive infinitives 
and also keep and needs plus gerunds. And what was the structure for keeps and needs, guys? What for the structure? Mm -hmm. Objects, keeps, and Jaron. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. And after that, uh -huh. guys. Aha, uh -huh, Marina. What we place after the Jaron? After the Jaron, keeps. That's right. That's the structure way that we use. For example, in this one, does your, does your refrigerator mix fixing again? First one, the model verb if we are using an equation. Then the subject after that, it will be needs. With an S or without S? No. In base form. And then? Jaron. Exactly. Jaron. And after that, we will place a complement, a question mark, if it's a question. What about if we are using in a positive way? Mm -hmm. It would be subject. We don't need a model verb, just keeps. In this kind of cases, yes, we will add an S because we don't have a model verb to change. After that, the journal and a complement. Okay, then after that, guys, we continue using keeps and needs. But in this kind of cases, we use to express <clears throat> action and we comprehend how to use it. After that, we learn, uh, we learn vocabulary about discussing things that can go wrong in electronic items. Do you remember that here we learn a word as glitch? Te recuerden que en esta sección, guys, aprendemos bastante vocabulario, más que todo tecnológico, como problemas que pasan, como... Uh, my system Jam. get down. Mm -hmm. What what else? Jam. 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 Mm -hmm. What else? What else? What else? Victor. Mm -hmm. Break down. Skip. Go there. What the meaning of this one? Crush. What's the meaning of if I say, hey, uh, my Zoom is crash. It's something that it, it was beaten. Uh, maybe when shows like pixel and uh -huh. it cannot move, it's like, like it's, ah, it's frozen. It's similar, but it's crash that it's it's not working anymore. Do you got it? Okay. Is is broke? It's not totally broke. Okay, lo voy a decir en español. Es como okay. freeze, pero dura permanentemente. Freeze se te va a congelar por un momento y se te va a descongelar a los minutos. 
pero cuando se te ha crashado, la pantalla te va a quedar como freeze, but it's already done. It's not working anymore. That's the meaning of crash. What about go dead? What's the meaning of go dead? Mm -hmm, guys? That's a word. Mm -hmm. Dead. <laughs> Muy bien, Gae, excelente. Nos queda un par de minutos y apenas hemos visto la primera. Mm, intentaré ir más rápido, pero sí quiero darles un review de esto. Muy bien, luego seguimos con la sección 2. En la sección 2 nosotros ingresamos con todo aprendiendo a usar by, because, of, due to, throw, and as a result of. Y lo ocupamos usando también el present continue passive en present perfect passive. Muy bien. Este fue uno de los temas que más les ha costado a la mayoría y que aún hay dudas. Muy bien. El present continue passive y el present perfect passive es cuando estamos ocupando, estamos diciendo lo mismo en dos diferentes formas. Uno cuando nos referimos al objeto y uno cuando nos referimos a quien hace la acción. Vimos este video, guys, de 3 minutos con 20, donde se nos explicaba cómo lo íbamos a poner. En este ejemplo, por ejemplo, the active voice. Air pollution is treating the health of people. Rain. Si se fijan aquí estamos hablando sobre el air pollution. But as a result of the air pollution, we had a bad or oh, treating the health of people. Ahora bien, when we use passive voice, we are not talking about specifically about the air pollution. We are talking about the health of people. Is being trained by air pollution. It's the same, but in a different context. Has dicho lo mismo, o sea, es la misma idea. Ambos sabemos que el, el aire contaminado nos va a dañar. Pero cuando ocupas la passive voice, sí lo estás diciendo. Pero estás ocupando como main idea de health of the people. ¿Un poco más claro, chicos? ¿O igual de confusos? Ajá, guys, lo escucho. It's better for me. Thank you, Marina. What about the rest? Máximo, ¿qué opina usted? It's Daup. clear. It's clear, teacher. Jancy? No doubt. <laughs> I don't know. I can listen that you're sleepy and maybe you are having many doubts in your mind, but you don't want to share right now. Okay. En ese caso, chicos, sigamos un poquito rápido porque no les quiero quitar mucho tiempo. Después de haber aprendido sobre active and passive voice, guys, we use how to reduce the auxiliary bear at the moment that we are speaking in order to sound naturally. After that, we make a knowledge check and then we listen how to give solution and problems. Then 
we learn how to use infinity clouds and phrases. In order to do that, in order to provide solutions or to talk about solution or discuss solutions. Okay, what is the structure that we will use here, guys? ¿Cuál era la estructura que ocupábamos nosotros aquí? Uh -huh. Do you remember? ¿Se recuerdan qué era, cuál era la estructura de aquí, guys? It's subject infinity the bear or it's about the cloud that we are talking about and then another uh, the bear to be and after that another infinity and after that obviously the complement One thing to do about it is to talk about, to talk to the company manager. ¿Se recuerdan que hicieron varios ejemplos con esto, guys? Yes. Perfecto. Luego de esto, ustedes brillaron haciendo el knowledge check y tuvimos una reading practice hasta que llegamos nosotros a la sección 3, que es en la cual nos encontramos, guys. En esta sección hemos aprendido eh, pues a hablar sobre la raising and falling intonation in question of a choice. Also, a uh, well, would rather and would prefer. By plus during context. And also, how to use it and to describe a uh, provide question and positive and negative statements. Ahora, guys. Les brindaré 10 minutos exactos para que ustedes puedan terminar el Mr. Exam. Ok, guys. Go ahead. Cualquier duda o consulta me encontraré aquí. Y los que ya terminan. Mm -hmm. eh, muy buena pregunta. Muy bien, eh, Brandy, si usted ya terminó, eh, pues tómese un break de 10 minutos. O si tiene alguna duda o consulta, puede compartirla eh, en el chat y yo con gusto se la voy a responder. Igualmente las personas que ya finalizaron pueden tomarse un pequeño descanso.
Okay, guys, time is over. Uh, you guys, abran sus plataformas si no tienen abiertas. Y si ya terminaron, pues bien, si no, no se preocupen. Ahorita vamos a responder todos juntos el test. Okay. You have problem with the microphone. Again. Yeah. And now? It's the same. Now? Yeah, yeah, you got it. No, no, no. It's okay. Now? No, you. <laughs> now? It's the same. Now? Did you say something? Pero se entiende, teacher, no molesta. Well, go ahead. Okay, guys. In these two cases, uh, we will continue uh, with the with this one. The listening. And number one. Clara tell Augusto. Mm -hmm. What was the answer? That the chair of the waiter is uh, ugly. The waiter's chair is ugly. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. One thing is complaints to her landlord is that. Mm -hmm. The refrigerator leaks. Mm -hmm. In the listening to to start uh, defending the awesome liar of recommended reducing pollution. Sonia is upset because people say she's selfish. Okay, and number three, Lynn is most interested in how pollution causes health problems. Sally is going to take a course in access or science. You guys, and you did a great job. Okay, number B. The first one, these glasses have a scratch on the lens. They are scratched. scratched. It's in past scratched. 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 Oh. Okay. My new car is dented. It has. Dent is a present, the bird. Dent. It has a dent. You? On the door, there is a small leak in the aquarium. It is no. it's with jet on leaking. leaking. Look at the crack in the wall. Is it's in past cracked. 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 This dress is the same. There are several but Stains. It's in present. Stains. Stains. Wrong it. With S. With S, please. Put at the end. Okay, instruction. Complete the sentence. Use the correct form of need and add any necessary word. Those towels are so dirty. They need the waste basket in your bedroom is full. It need to be 
Nils. Nils, yeah, no, with S. With. Nils three. Okay, and the grass in front yard looks extremely dry. It needs watering. The microwave oven is broken. It needs to be. To be Number three, instruction complete the conversation with rather or prefer. Will you? Would you rather? Okay. Would you rather? Ah, uh, well, I not to play the drums one day I like to join I just band so I guess prefer prefer not to play mm -hmm. I no it's in present just prefer I prefer I think I rather. I'd rather not learn okay, either nice. instrument. Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Instruction. Choose the correct word or phrase. I can't make a phone call. My cell phone kids dying. dying. The buttons on my remote control don't work right. They keep sticking. sticking. The printer is useless. It keeps jamming. jamming. My internet service is driving me crazy. The connection keeps dropping. dropping. My desk light keeps Flickering. Flicker. Flickering. Flickering. Okay. Number part two. Instruction. Choose the correct word or phrase. I'm very concerned about. Mine. Mine. When a country suffers from. Our population. If Greg showed his friends some courtesy, I didn't learn cooperation. Hey guys, congrats. Okay, this is a hard part. This one in the derby. I know many of you uh, have some, some difficulties there. Not this one, this is the first one. It's this. What is the second one? One way to end government corruption is and wasteful spending. And ways of spending. Okay, the, the best, best way. way to reduce trash is to start recycling program. Part two. Instruction, choose from the following option and write suitable information to complete the sentence. Use not by plus zero. Write a short by a story, okay. A good way to spend a rainy weekend is By reading a short story.
okay, the best way to eat healthy is? Writing. By writing is teacher in the first. Right. The best way to eat healthy is? By avoiding, By avoiding sugary high fat foods. And it's avoiding. Thing. By avoiding is with Jen, please. And the last one, guys. Can learn this is learn. not by taking a class but by going out to the clubs. Okay. It's by not. No, 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 no. It's not by not not by taking a classes. I'm sorry, class taking a class. But, but yep. By going <laughs> by going out to the clubs. Bye. 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 After, but yeah, by, by going. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. it's because you uh, the period is missing. Mm -hmm. Vamos a probar, guys. Yes. <laughs> The word, the word avoiding and taking a class. This one. Uh, Le falta la de teacher, avoiding. Oh. And the last one? No, 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 no it's uh, wrong. Uh, yes. Avoiding. Le falta la I. La I. Yes. Nope. A boy. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> and the last one. Not by a, 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 a class. A class. A class. A. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you did a good job. Now wow. time is over. Okay, time it, it's over, guys. But I guess. So, we can say that todos ustedes finalizaron el mid-term exam, guys. Yo tengo algunos pedidos. The last one, teacher, I can't finish. Okay, guys, intentaré finalizarlo y en algunos momentos, eh, pues, si usted necesita ayuda, señor Raúl, dígame en específico cuáles son las preguntas que necesita ayuda. Y, ok, guys, nos vemos hasta la próxima semana. Gracias por estar con nosotros hasta las 9 y 5. Y, y ya. Bye. 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 Bye.